Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Uh, we're going to try and wrap this tutorial up as fast as possible because I'm tired and I haven't slept in 24 hours. So, we're doing a tutorial on how to get Minecraft Story Mode to work on Xenia and also how to configure it properly. You do not need Horizon, but if you have no clue why your games are working, because... Well, you don't know how to configure it, then follow this guide. Second of all, I'm not linking a download to the Minecraft demo. It's not happening. And it's just not happening. I'm sure you could find it somewhere else, but I'm not linking it. But I'm doing Xenia off my computer because I'm, I'm not going through the hassle of setting up my Xbox. You can download the app onto your xbox that's probably why you're here anyway but first of course you're gonna have to have a usb i already got my usb plugged up we're going to need uh horizon wemod.horizon or wemod.com slash horizon and then we're gonna need xenia xenia uh I believe it was Zinni Canary we need. Well, at least that's what I'm going to use, but. And I'm just going to grab this here. Of course, you're probably going to find it on the Microsoft website if you're doing it through a Discord. But I'm not doing that. All right. that over there all right all right you got your xenia um doesn't really matter like just taking perspective that it's to be on your xbox start canary uh if you're on windows just run it anyway go ahead and close that now we've got this file right here which i'm going to quickly make it so i can edit it with notepad all right, so this is the config for it. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Before we get into this, we need to also make sure Horizon has downloaded. And let's go ahead and run it. Click install. There might be a couple pop-ups that come up. Actually, it looked like they removed those finally. That's actually exciting. Thank you for that. So it's already got my USB detector. We're going to act like it's not detecting it. We're just going to act like it. Or I can just make it not detect it. So. This is the USB drive that I'm going to be using. So. Yeah. Let me go ahead and format this. This needs to be NTFS. If it is not, it is not going to work. You need that. Go ahead and click start, okay, and it'll quickly format, it is formatted, and now, let's open Horizon, you all are going to see this, like all of you, that your USB is not recognized, close Horizon, open your USB drive, and create a folder called content, Relaunch Horizon, and it will be detected. There we are. Now, I already have the games downloaded, but if you go to GameDLCs.net, as you can see here, you can go to Downloads. This is all safe. I've done tested it. Uh... You can grab all these episodes for Minecraft Story Mode. You'll also need the title update. So this is a title update to get GTA 5 actually working. I've done tested that. But this is what we're interested in. This update right here. So you're going to need this right here. And then as that downloads, 
Let's go to YouTube real fast. Let's go check out one of my videos that I've posted. So let me see. Xenia. No, nope. Gowan right there should be. We need this Xbox Media Tool. If we do not do this, and you're on Xbox, and you're wondering why your game is black screened, it's probably because you didn't do this step. This will allow the Xbox to have full right access to the USB. So you're going to need this. Now, I am going to scroll down to Minecraft here on my pre-made drive with all my games. Let's see. Minecraft Story Mode with the ID 584119. Let's see. I've got way too many things. What was that? Five eight four. Jesus Christ. I just can't remember anything right now. Five eight four one one four ninety. Five eight four one one four nine E. All right, and this is the game. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna copy it to my desktop. I want that copy, and we'll go back to this, which has downloaded our. Let's see, this is the title update and our USB media drive. Let's go ahead and open this. We can minimize that. And let's extract this. And it's very important you run this as an administrator, because then it's just going to actually work if you do that. So allow it. Oh, I come up with the dialog, just hit yes. Do not click this. This will format it. Do not click this. We've already formatted it. If you have games on it, and you're just trying to do a patch, this is going to wipe it. Leave this alone. Come down to here, where it says only add permission. No files will be deleted. And just hit whichever device you've got. So mine is the E. You leave this drive alone, because this is your Windows and hit add permissions to selected devices and you're done now if we come back up here which you all are not going to have this but we have already got this right here and we're just going to save it to our usb drive which mine in this case is the first one so we'll save it to the first one. And then as that saves, we're going to go back to our config for Xenia, and we're gonna change a couple things. So first of all, in order to actually get this to work, you need to set this to negative one. You don't set it to negative one, it's not going to activate the licensing. It's not going to activate the title updates. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to be the normal demo. And then we're going to go down to, let's see. Just got to keep scrolling here. Allow game relative rights. This can be useful on some games. I normally enable this. Let's see. It should be in. Yep, here it is. So this is where you need to think where your device is. 
So that has finished. We can go ahead and close Horizon. Let's open this and let's take a look at this. So Horizon has done us very good and they have made us some folders. This is the structure that you're going to need if you want this to work. Now, since we're using Horizon, we're copying all of this. Yours might, your might not be the E drive, but mine's the E drive. Yours might just be like the D drive or something. And we're going to put the content, which I'm going to do this. And then we're going to put this in storage. So when we save data, it's going to put it in the appropriate folder. This gets the game and the DLCs from the appropriate folder. And this, it doesn't matter. So we're just going to put this on the E drive. As a cache. Let's make sure it's created. I don't know if it'll create it or not. I'm just going to make sure. So. When you're also on console, make sure this mount stuff is disabled, unless you're in dev mode. If these are enabled and you're on retail mode, that's probably another issue. So, let's see. I think that is all we need to edit. Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and save it. We can close all that. Let's go to where we put our Xenia, which I gotta find where it is here. Do, do, do. I created it somewhere. Where are you? Unless I just have to extract it again. Oh, there you are. Alright. So let's go ahead and launch. Let's see. Line 351. I made an oopsie. 351. I did. Made an oopsie. But I backslashed it. Let's go ahead and try that again. And then we're going to go to where the game is located. Now... The name of this folder is going to differ because, you know, games kind of have different IDs. So, this is a demo game. Uh, this the ID right here is specifically for uh, Minecraft Story Mode, the demo version. I believe the CD version is a completely different thing. You're using the CD version, whether you convert it to a God file or not, it's still a CD version. So keep that in mind. And then since this is a demo, it's going to have the 000D file. And this is the game. So we're just going to come over here. We're going to open. And we are just going to browse to that file. And then we're going to open it and show you what it looks like without the title update. Because this is very, very important that you see it. So, it's going to load, yeah. But I'm going to show you exactly why we need it. Which, I'm, it might help if I plug in my controller real fast. Plug that in. Alright. Now that that's plugged in... And let it load infinitely. As you can see, we've got the play. But again, this is just a demo. So if we go to our downloaded content, as you can see, we've only got episode one. We've got to buy all the other episodes. But, of course, if you go to the website that I sent you, which in the link 
it's probably in the link description. Now I just did the title update to save me some time because kind of busy with other stuff. Create all the files properly. So let's go ahead and close this and we're going to go to our downloads here. Actually, let me open another folder. We are going to grab this. Which I'm using 7-zip. And within this folder, we're just going to drag these two folders out and just drop it in. Simple as that. And after it finished copying, well, there you go. You're you're all set. You don't have to do anything else. Just play the game. I mean, it's it's that simple. So, whenever this finishes copying, oh, here, here, shoot. Okay. So if we go back to Xenia, whenever I find where it went. Let's just go back to the recent, reopen that. And not all I should at least perform a little better. You should have a lot more things now. Because you just updated to the latest version. But yeah, that's that's basically it. I mean, I didn't install any episode, so it's not gonna show an episode. But yeah, as you can see, the colors on the buttons change and everything. So that's how you know that title updates installed. But thank you for tuning in this tutorial. I hope this helped you uh, figure out what you needed to do and what was going on with your setup. Uh, I'm gonna log off here and take a nap. I'm bummed. But yeah. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you all in the next video.